Hello, great jobs. Um, welcome back again into all this video. So today um, we are going to be looking at um, drainage patterns. Okay, yes, um, which is a topic under geomorphology, the geography. Okay, so um, let's waste no time, ladies and gents, and jump um, into our question. So this question is also going to help us into understanding deeper concepts on drainage patterns. Okay, yes. So 2.2 says refer to um, the drainage pattern. So our figure 2.2 is showing us drainage patterns. Okay, yes. Namely, we have um, a dendritic um, a drainage pattern as well as the trellis um, drainage pattern. Okay, so we can see that um, there's a difference between these two um, patterns as their names are different. Okay, yes. So, um, so we're going to be looking through roughly between dendritic as well as trellis pattern okay so um, we're going to understand the characteristics um, as well as the advantages as, um, of these um, patterns okay yes in terms of farming etc okay yes and other ge geographical concepts okay so let's um, okay so we can also see that we have a key a key with watershed the high-lying area meaning that um, this is a drainage um, basin Okay, yes, this is a different patrony basin again. Okay, yes, meaning that you can clearly see that we have a watershed high lying area that is dividing two um, drainage um, basins. Okay, yes, and also we have rivers. Okay, yes, meaning that we have rivers. As you can see, we have rivers, we have rivers. So this is the flow of a river. Hope you can see that. Okay, yes, as well as the direction of the flow of this river is downwards, moving downwards, moving downwards, but the flow of this river is moving downwards like there okay yes as you can see the arrow hope you can see that let's jump to our 2.2.1 so it says define the concept drainage pattern so let's define the the, the the concept drainage pattern so the term or the concept drainage pattern this is um the surface pattern that is formed by the river and its tributaries okay yes i repeat again it's easy guys straightforward okay yes um, also, the, division, the definitions might differ in terms of using of words, but it might um, nails or it might um, imply um, the very same um, idea, okay? Yes, but it's, it's, it's very clear. You can just say a drainage pattern is a surface pattern that is formed by a river and its tributaries, okay? Yes, as I said to you, this is a drainage pattern. So this drainage pattern is... For, is is forming in a surface, meaning that this is a surface pattern, okay? It is formed in the land, okay? Yes. And it is formed by the river and its tributaries, as you can see, okay? Yes. So I repeat again for the very last time. So a drainage pattern is a surface pattern that is formed by a river and its tributaries. Straightforward. Let's move. So it's two marks. So we're going to get here two marks. And that's how it goes. Okay. So let's move to... Um, 2.2.2 or second question. So it says describe the trellis drainage pattern. Okay, so we have to describe our trellis drainage pattern. Okay, yes, meaning that we have to give um, the attributes as well as the characteristics of this trellis drainage pattern. Let's describe it, guys. So you can clearly see that this is the mainstream, right? This is the mainstream on this drainage basin, and this is the mainstream on this drainage basin. Okay, yes, meaning that our mainstreams this mainstream one and you have mainstream two our mainstreams are a parallel okay yes that's the very first one so how many marks um they say to subtract this pattern uh two marks mean that you have to keep two one each okay yes the very first one is that our mainstreams on truly strange pattern are parallel okay that's how it goes okay so at number two you can say that you can see that the, the tributaries on the trellis pattern are joining at a right angle. Okay, yes, are joining at a right angle at 90 degrees angle, right? As you can see when they join, when they join, they, are, they join at a right angle. Okay, yes, meaning that um, these tributaries are parallel to, uh, uh, so sorry, uh, perpendicular to, uh, perpendicular to the mainstream. Okay, yes, meaning that they join at a right angle at 90 degrees. That's number two. So you've got those two. Number one, I said um, the mainstreams are parallel. And number two, I said um, the tributaries of a trellis strange pattern join at 90 degrees angle or, the, or at the right angle. OK, 
okay yes so let's move to number three okay which is 2.2.3 so it says explain one invisible difference between the tributaries of a geretic as well as a trellis drainage pattern so we have now to look at our drainage um, um, through drainage pattern the geretic pattern as well as the trellis pattern okay let me raise that very quick guys and state the visible difference between these two okay yes okay so you can see that um the difference between the tributaries okay yes of these two okay yes let's first look at the dendritic pattern which is like a tree like formed okay yes you can clearly see that the tributaries are joining at a, an acute angle okay yes that's number one so that's number one you can see that so we have to give um two okay yes so that's one which is equal to two so we left it one so let's let's look at trellis drainage pattern right now you can clearly see that i've already told you that the the tributaries of a trellis drainage pattern are joining at a right angle at right, a 90 degrees angle okay yes that's number two that's how it goes okay let's move to 2.2.4 okay without wasting no time so suggest why a genetic drainage pattern is more suitable for farming okay right now um it is clear that in terms of genetic um drainage pattern when you are around that drainage basin which is formed like this uh, drainage um this specific drainage pattern which is genetic pattern so meaning that farming in this um form of a pattern is suitable okay yes okay so let's state why okay yes so you can clearly see that the tributaries of a of a drainage pattern um are widely dis distributed you can see widely distributed widely they're just like everywhere and that mean meaning that there's more accessible of water okay yes so there's more accessible of water just because of that okay yes they are widely distributed in this specific drainage pattern that's number one why how many that you are, are required to give it's two okay but i'm just only going to give you maybe three okay so we are going to choose which one is suitable for you to 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 apply in when answering your questions during exams okay so that's number one okay yes they are widely distributed meaning that there's more accessible of water and number two you can clearly see that the land is kind of um flat okay yes um, in a drainage pattern, uh, in that specific drainage part, um, yes, that specific drainage basin, um, the, the the surface is gentle. Okay, yes, you know that when the surface is in jungle slope, meaning that the land is arable. Okay, yes, meaning that the fertility is stored, is maintained, right? Yes, so the fertile soil is there, etc. Okay, yes, meaning that it's suitable for farming because the slope is is gentle around. Okay, yes, that's number that's number two. So we, we have your total marks there out of four. Okay, yes. Let me give you the last one, which is going to be extra. Um, you can also just say um, you can clearly see that we have longer tributaries. Okay, yes, we have longer tributaries. Um, when you when you even compared to the trellis pattern, you can see that we have shorter tributaries this side, but this side of very very long tributaries and many tributaries as I mentioned on the very first. Um, a point okay yes meaning that the longer the tributaries the more um, availability of water for for irrigation process okay yes as well as watering the plants the crops irrigation process um, yeah so we can just say that so that's how it goes guys i think that was a very very cool lesson um please don't forget to subscribe for more lesson contents um have a great day cheers see you next time bye